Hey, Donald. What do you call a lesbian dinosaur? What? Lickalotopus. Yeah, call me that too. <laughs> All right, to all my fellas out there, I just unlocked a secret about girls. I'm starting to figure them out now. So if you ask a girl what's wrong and she starts to tell you, you might as well pull up a chair. It's going to be a long ass day. But if you ask her what's wrong and this is her reply, nothing. Okay, fellas, this is our, this is our moment, all right? That does not mean nothing. No, it doesn't. That means everything. And this is the moment where you run. You get the fuck out of there. You know why? Because nothing you say or do is gonna be right. You are wrong. She might not even be mad at you, but you are wrong. And everything you do for the rest of the day is gonna be wrong. You're gonna pump gas wrong. You're gonna pick the wrong place to eat. And you're gonna look at it wrong. Just get out of there. Run. Listen, y'all, if somebody ever gets in your face, sing them the warning song. Nah, I'm a need for you to hold it for a moment. Who the heck you talking to? Got me stressed out acting like that. Like I won't clap back. What? Hey, you want to go to the beach? Uh, no, I'm afraid of sharks. Well, according to the internet, you're actually ten times more likely to get attacked by sharks at your house than at the beach. Yeah, there's no way that's correct. <laughs> Dude, you need to see a doctor. Nah, it's okay. I read on the internet, in order to get better, you just eat this lemon. And I'll be good as gravy. Hey, what's up? Oh, thank God. I read on Twitter that you were missing. You guys need to seriously stop believing everything you read on the internet. It's not done now. So this old cowboy gets captured by these Indians, and they asked they asked the cowboy they want to give him his you know his his last request, and he said, "Okay, white man, you die in three days. What do you want?" He says, "I want to talk to my horse." So he, they bring his horse over. He whispers something in his horse's ear, and his horse hauls ass, takes off running. Horse comes back about you know an hour later with this beautiful butt naked blonde on right on his back. She jumps off the horse, runs in the teepee, and these Indians are like, "What in the hell?" Next day they're like, "Okay, white man, you die in two days. What do you want?" He says, "I want to talk to my horse." <laughs> they bring his horse over, he whispers in the horse's ear, horse hauls ass, takes off running, comes back about two hours later with a beautiful butt naked redhead on his back. She jumps off the horse, runs in the teepee. These Indians are thinking, we're keeping this fucking horse, damn. The next day, they ask white men, they say, okay, you died today at noon, what do you want? He says, I want to talk to my fucking horse. So they bring the horse over and he walks up, grabs the horse by his ears and says, Potsy, P-O-S-S-I-E, motherfucker. If you're gay, then you're gay. If you're straight, what's well, great? If you fall in between, that's the best way to be. You got so many options. Every fish in the sea wants to kiss you. You know what type of people I can't relate to? The people that hate being called cute pet names. You know those people who get kind of annoyed when they're called like angel or baby cakes? But here's the thing, I'm trying to be somebody's angel, somebody's baby cakes. Bitch, I will be your goldfish. I will be the snack that smiles back. Best friend, I shouldn't have to ask you to lie for me. I shouldn't have to ask your permission for me to put you in my lie. You know why? Because you're my best fucking friend, bitch. That's your job. The day that we sign up and say that we best friends, that means that my bullshit is your bullshit. Imagine being killed by a bow and arrow. That would suck. An arrow killed you? They would never solve the crime. Look at that dead guy. Let's go that way. Yes. What have I done to deserve all this beehole coming out of your mouth? It's everything, Carl. It's everything you've done ever. Everything? Even that time I helped Mrs. Bigsby with her garden? You buried her there. It's what she would have wanted. You buried her alive. She wasn't keeping up with the weeding. As president of the Homeowners Association, I had to take immediate action. Oh, you did. Can we just read the fucking complaints? All right. This first one says no more complaints will fit in the box. Some of us have no hands. Then how did you write this? I shoved a pencil up my ass and started twerking. How the fuck do you write shit? With a pen. Oh, yeah. All right, this next one says, Tiny Tony's a lazy shithead, doesn't contribute. Who wrote this? I did. He had one fucking job. 
to knit the fucking sweaters. And guess who had to do it? She, me, her, she did. The needles were as big as me. It was like knitting with shovels. Dude, you're like six feet tall. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you from all the way down here. I feel like I don't get enough recognition each year. All right. Which one of you holly jolly jack-offs wrote this one? That was me. Jesus. Jesus Christ, this day is not about you. I'm trying to save Christmas. You people have ruined this holiday. Jesus Christ, you smell like that cave you took a nap in. I don't have to take shit from an animal. Oh. Hey, babe. It's story time. Hey, babe, hey, babe. All right, so one night, a little girl unexpectedly walks in on her mom and dad, you know, doing the deed. So the next morning, the little girl says, Mommy, why were you bouncing up and down on daddy's stomach last night? And the mom responds, well, honey, um, I have to bounce up and down to keep daddy skinny. If I don't do that, he gets fat. And the little girl responds, well, mommy, that's not going to work. And the mom responds, well, honey, why not? And the little girl says back to her mom, because the babysitter keeps pulling him back up again. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Good one. All these horses in my car got me going fast. I just run through the grass, put my pedal to the grass. Going so fast, hope I don't crash. One false move that could be my last. Hey, thanks for coming over to the house. Oh, it's no problem, man. So I realized you and Miss Picky were getting really close. Well, uh, well, I mean, she's she's pretty cool. Well, hey, why don't you come uh, sit down for dinner? You look hungry. I made pork chops. Maybe lock the door and turn the lights down low. Dad. Oh, what was that, Morty Jr.? Were you, were you going to say Dada? Say Dada. 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 Domination. Um, Dada. Destruction, domination. <clears throat> nice. You won't see it coming, but one day you're gonna turn around. I'll put a ring on the finger I've been wrapped around. Hormone changes. I do not know who I'm waking up with from one day to the next. It's like spinning a big mood wheel, you know. Come on, happy, 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 sad, happy, sad, horny, 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 ah, bitchy shit! What's your name? Lucifer. Where did that go? Exactly. My name's Beatrice, but everybody calls me Trixie. That's a hooker's name. What's a hooker? Ask your mother. Hey, Donald. What did the receptionist at the sperm bank say as her customers left? What? Thanks for coming. Uh, <laughs> that would be horrible if she said that.